setting fire to wineries and emptying pipe tanks and breaking windows. And uh, I think it's quite a brave supermarket in the south of France. In Bézier, or that region, would put a bottle of Jacob's Creek on their shelves. As viticultural extremists smashed up commercial wine imports, a British writer appeared on a leading French TV show armed with a bottle of Australia's finest. Je l'ai choisi parce que c'est le vin qu'on appelle le seul premier cru de l'hémisphère du sud. I was the only non-French guest. All the rest were very high up French men of wine. And we each had to bring a bottle of wine to serve to our fellow guests. And I'd just come back from Australia, so I had a bottle of Grange. Alors, qu'est-ce que on n'a pas la, 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 la Syrah, là, de d'Australie? Alors, qu'est-ce que vous en pensez? And you should have seen their noses wrinkled up even before they'd got the nose to the glass. I mean, ah, oh, it was dismissed as a sort of a pharmacist's wine. Ah, Monsieur Lachiver, il fait une moue. C'est assez pharmaceutique. Oui, c'est l'armoire pharmaciste. <laughs> they were so patronizing and and really contemptuous both towards me and towards the whole of Australian wine. But Australia had the last laugh when in 1999 the hugely influential US magazine Wine Spectator put Penfold's Grange on its front cover. The 55 Grange was on the front page as one of the 12 wines of the 20th century. You know that sort of acknowledgement Retrospectively, decades later, does as much for a wine as, say, a review of the current vintage. Penfolds have been making Grange, a high-end blended Shiraz, since 1951, long before the Chardonnay boom. I have been able to taste back uh, every two or three years back to 52 Grange, and that has uh, reaffirmed time and time again the extraordinary capacity that Grange has to age over a minimum of 20 years. I think Grange is a rock and roll wine. It's actually a wine that takes you and takes you on a journey that other wines don't do.